Morton Tilden is here. He is the director of The Imi Imitation Gang. And this is a fascinating movie, a movie about Alan Turing. A lot of people know the name, but they're... Yeah. A lot of people know the name, but they're not sure about who he really is, what he really did, mm -hmm. and even a bit about his, you know, his own personal life. How did you get involved with the project? I was sent this beautiful script. To somebody, you have to read this. And uh, I didn't know much about it myself, and I was just blown away. Mm -hmm. And I became obsessed. Yeah. I needed to know everything about him. And, they, and it's, he's one of the big unsung heroes. And... Uh, I wanted the movie to be the same experience which I had discovering him. Yeah. I wanted the movie to become like about the enigma that he is, the mystery that he is, and, and unravel him and try to see different sides of him. And he was, he, was, he was such a complex, fascinating man. You know, he fathered computer science. He cracked the Nazi enigma code, shortened the war, saved millions of lives, and then suffered great injustice afterwards. And everything was kept secret. Everything he did was hid by MI6. Yeah. And it's, it, it's a, uh, I don't think you could actually invent this kind of story if you just made it fiction. It's like a puzzle. It's like the puzzles that yeah. he loved and, and the numbers he loved to crunch yeah. in, in his mind or on paper mm -hmm. or whatever, with the, and, and the machine that he built that he envisioned, which yeah. eventually led to all the computers that we yeah. use, perhaps. But when the script was presented to you, did, was it laid out in the fashion that the movie is in, going from like starting at one point and going backwards in time and then moving back and forth, or was there part, a part of it when we changed it and sculptured it as we as we as as uh, we moved on and and it's and it's uh, you know we wanted it to not be a typical biopic. You know we didn't want it to be just a war story or just like a character study or just a you know typical British period movie. Because uh, I think it deserves more. And it's I, also a mystery thriller. And that's it's a mystery. It's a spy yeah. story. It's a crime. It's a love story. Yes. And it's a human rights story. It's a. It's it's uh, it's so layered, and that's also I think what, what he is. So so that's I try to put all of these pieces together and 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 have different storylines, and it's uh, it's been such a you know humbling and also to actually work uh, to actually try to portray this this magnificent man, you know, and, and, and the amazing story. The more I see Benedict Cumberbatch in roles, mm. the more I appreciate him as an actor. Mm. Uh, tell me a little bit about working with him, shaping him into Alan Turing, over the, especially over many years. It's not just... You know. Yeah. No, it's, it's... I mean, Benedict was the first one I thought about, and I called him with Scott, and we immediately saw that, okay, we have the same idea where we want to take the story. And then we try to find out, like, how was Alan Turing? How, you know, there's no recording of him. How did he talk? How did he move? How did he behave? How did he see the world? And we have to like, piece him together from, you know, different yeah. parts and, and then try to create this, this character. And, and, it's, and it's fascinating with Benedict, you know. He, when I'm shooting Man in the Night, he dis Benedict disappears and Alan Turing comes up. And, it's, and it's, uh, uh, to us it was important to, to try not to make him, you know, this cliché math genius, uh, this eccentric man, but try to, you know, hold back and... and and, and there's, 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 a, there's a childish, na naive side to him. There's all this arrogant strength. There's a romantic side. There's, there's this vulnerability. There's, a, there's so many layers on it. And, and it was very important to try and get all of that into his performance and into the film. Fascinating, beautiful movie. The Imitation Game, Morton Tilden, the director. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.